Hi everyone, it's Tara. So I am back to share with you some altered paper clips, pens and pencils that I created using some of the new Target Dollar Spot items as well as a few things I picked up from Dollar Tree. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you are these cute little pencils and both of these items came from the Dollar Tree, the foam hearts. You can get in a pack of nine. These are the smaller ones and then the pencils I also got from Dollar Tree. These were really easy to create. So this one here, I just made the hole a little bit bigger on the foam heart and then stuck the eraser in there and added some glossy accents to hold it in place. And then for this one, I did it a little bit different. I actually used a piece of wire. And so I'll just show you real quick. So I have this 20 gauge piece of wire. I made a little loop at the top and this edge here I just stuck into the pencil eraser and try to center it a little bit so I just press that down in there and you have this and I made the loop so that it can hang on to the foam and so then this end here I just stuck into the heart and added some glossy accents to keep it in place Okay, so that's how I did that. Very easy. So those are my little altered pencils. I did more, but I already brought them to work. So that's where they are. I also altered these really cute little pens. And these, um, like, they're not glitter, like tinsel hearts. You will find those in the uh, floral section. And they're on a bush. And so they look like this. I just, you know, pulled this out of the rest of the stem. And then, so this part here, let me show you the pens. So I got these pens also at the Dollar Tree. They came in a bunch of different colors. Um, there's an orange one also, but I kind of covered it up and I'll show you those in a minute. So all I did for that was I just took the bottom part off. And I'm just using these little wire cutters, but you can just, just remove the bottom part of the pen. And then I basically just shove this part in, the little stem, into that little hole. And then it's pretty much stuck, but I also did add some I think I use E6000 just a little bit just to hold it in place and so that's how quick and easy that is to create and you have a cute little pen okay so that is that and then this one here I use some of the target uh, the holographic tape that I shared in my last haul and I wrapped the holographic tape around the pen. And this pen I also got from the Dollar Tree. It originally looks like this, in a pack like this. And so I cut, let me see, I cut this part off and then put it on the end here. Took the holographic tape and just wrapped it, you know, all the way around the pen. And then I stuck see okay this is the last one that I have so that's why I'm just using this as, as an example they also have these in pink which I thought I was gonna go out and get some more of today but I looked outside this morning and it's snowing so I'm pretty much in the house for today so with this pen here the top has let me see if I have another one okay so the top has like you can see that there and I just took my craft knife and cut that away so then I have this hole here let me see here we go so then you have this hole here and once it's all you know wrapped with that holographic tape I just stuck this stem in here and glued it in place and then you have a cute little pen so that's how I created this one really really cute and very easy and 
they just make a cute little addition to your pen cup or I think these would be nice to add to your uh, loaded bags. I know a lot of you ladies are doing that. Um, and so this is just a fun way to add a little element to those loaded bags that is also useful. So, <clears throat> so that's that. And oh, I also made this cute little paper clip out of, again, those foam hearts. And I thought this came out really, really cute. So all I did was push the paper clip inside and these are foam so once I put the paper clip inside you can see like the white part of the foam so all I did was add some red stickles to cover the you know where you can see the white part and so it just kind of blends together with this glittery heart you can't even tell so I thought that that came out really cute and again these hearts also come in pink which I wanted to go get today but like I said, it's snowing, so I'm pretty much in the house for, for the day. But that's how those look. Okay, so moving on to the Target dollar spot. I made some really cute clips out of the erasers. So here are those cupcake erasers that I shared on my last haul. And what I did with these was I just added some stickles to the frosting well the first thing let me just show you real quick so the first thing I did because these erasers they come apart so let me just show you so it comes apart like this and like this so the first thing I did because I wanted it to you know be held in place I added some glossy accents I use this stuff for everything I absolutely love it so I just used some glossy accents. I put a little bit in that hole right there. Um, I put a little bit on the sides here. And then I put the top part on. Okay, and then I added a little bit of glossy accents underneath where the frosting is at. And pop that on there. And I let that dry. And then you can go in with some stickles. So for this one, I believe I used the Stardust stickles, which I need more of. But I think it gave the frosting a really cute look. Okay, so I left this one so I could show you, um, you know, how they pull apart. All right, so then once all that is dry, I just made a little slit in the bottom of the cupcake and pushed my paper clip in and added a little bit of glossy accents to hold it together. So that's how I created these. I think they came out so super cute. And then I also went ahead and turned one of these into a pen topper. So here's one of the pens again from Dollar Tree. I did the same thing with gluing everything together first. Added my stickles to the top. I made a hole in the bottom with my craft knife and then pushed the bottom of the pen inside. So, really, really cute. Love the way that came out. Okay, and then I also made some donut clips. Here. And I used stickles on the top again on the frosting just to give it a little something extra. And I believe I used, again, the Stardust. And I also used some of this Diamond Stickles on I think this one here. I don't know if you can tell the difference very much. But on the chocolate ones, I used the Platinum Stickles. So that's how those look. And I thought I had one. Let me show you. Because these come apart as well. So here's one that I haven't done anything with. So these come apart. And again, I just add a little bit of glossy accents to the holes. Just a little bit. Because when you put it together, you don't want it oozing out. I put a little bit of glossy accents around the top of the frosting. And popped it back together. And I put something heavy on top of it. Just you know to hold it together and then from there I just added the stickles cut a little slit on the side and then pushed 
the paper clip in. Very, very easy. And these, I think, came out really, really cute. And then for this one, I use one of those Michaels, um, I don't know, chunky clips <laughs> for this one. And then these are just regular gold paper clips, which I get my gold paper clips from Staples. So that is how those came out. I also started one because I went back to Target and I actually found some of the ice cream erasers. This one was super easy to create and I just added stickles on top. It's kind of still drying here but just to give you an example of what that looks like and like I said these are very easy to create because the this whole thing comes apart again oops and then all I did was at the bottom here you can see well you can see there's like a little opening but all I did was take the paper clip and shove it in there where the little stick is at and I mean it holds very well so you really don't have to glue it if you don't want to but to make it more permanent you can go ahead and add a little bit of glossy accents there where the hole is at. You can see that. Okay, so very, very easy to create and they just look so super cute. So I'll go ahead and add some stickles to this one as well. But So that is that. And then lastly, I made some really cute clips out of the hearts Oops, out of these hearts right here that came in the package with the gold and pink and then the red and the silver ones came in a package too. Now I only use the gold and the silver and so here's these paper clips. These are very easy to create as well and I'll just I'll show you an example. So really really cute I just love 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 the way these came out and then here's the back and I'll show you how I created these like I said very very easy here I used a large clip from Michaels and then I used the medium size as well and then here's just another silver one so love how those came out. All right, let me show you real quick how I made these. So all I did was cut a little slit. And you need some pointy scissors and just kind of cut a little slit in the back there I hope you guys can see what I'm doing so you cut your little slit alright and then take your paper clip and then put it in the back there and just add some glossy accents see if it will come out <laughs> okay so just add a little bit of glossy accents back behind there where that little opening is at and that's it and then just set it aside to dry and that's your cute little paper clip easy right love how those came out now I tried to do it on I tried the same technique with one of just the regular um, satin ones and you can see the glossy accents through it so it didn't really work that well with that but you can always just use two of these and sandwich your paper clip in between if you want to do it that way but I kind of just like the way that this looks and it was like I said very easy to create okay so here's another look at those clips. 
and yeah so that is it for my share today thank you guys so much for watching um, check out some of my other videos if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I will see you in the next video bye